the game is the most exciting and authentic espionage game ever. You will pay a price if you make the wrong decision. Who's telling the truth, who's not telling the truth. You can get a, a pretty good sense of what uh, an intelligence career would include. So I say, uh, this is no fantasy, this is a real game. What drives spycraft is reality. We asked the men that ran the two largest spy agencies in the world, what are the most dangerous scenarios looming in all of our futures? The future of Russia is the most important foreign policy problem we face. Russia is in a very difficult stage today of development. It's undergoing a tremendous transformation. Spycraft the Great Game creates an entire world of espionage that goes well beyond just a computer game. We designed a lot of the puzzles around actual tools that the CIA uses. Every single puzzle, every single decision that the player makes in Spycraft the Great Game is taken right out of Colby and Kalugan's careers. The Great Game confronts the player with real-life scenarios and decisions. As in the world of espionage, the line between right and wrong, friend and foe blur. What we tried to do in Spycraft, and I think we've been successful, is create all the cool gadgetry and tension of a Tom Clancy novel, all the richness and texture of a John Le Carre novel, but with one big difference. You are a CIA operative in this game. You are the star of a great spy thriller. You play the role of a CIA operative working deep undercover to stop a group of spy mercenaries. In the game, as well as in the real world, there's a great fear that the Russian mafia is going to take control of all the Russian nuclear, chemical, and biological weapons. But in order to do that, they need to manipulate the Russian election coming up in 1996. So if there's a link between the Russian mafia and the Russian election and these ex-rogue spies, it becomes a top piece of order for the CIA. That's where the player enters the story. In Spycraft, Colby and Kalugin appear as themselves. No one is above suspicion in this game. Not Colby and not Kalugin. Okay, Birdsong's intel is now A+, plus, which means the president is in real danger. So the player's goal is to make heads or tails out of who's good, who's bad, what's going on in this world. Go on, it's Warhurst. We've got a situation. We're building the team. You're on it. In this game, you can actually take your investigation online. The game is all tied together uh, with a system called Intel Link. What we're doing is we're creating uh, links in the game that will link our website to these other websites, the CIA, DEA, FBI. When the player enters this game, they're entering a post-Cold War spy world that is living and breathing. I know what this means. This is Thor. I wanted to show how deeply organized crime permeates Russia. I could think of no better place to start. The U.S. So you are uh, FBI, CIA? And they're never going to be quite sure what is pre-rendered, what we've designed, and what is actually real and happening in the real world. So when you log on, we'll be changing the news stories that you're getting to reflect what's actually going on in the world. I think the online component will give the whole game an extra sense of realism. We wanted to come up with a type of interactivity that was, that was new, that, and the result is, I think, the biggest, richest game that has ever hit a CD-ROM. The country's counting on you. God bless and good luck.